Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Last time I left off I showed you guys how to make the gun movement script and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own FPS input script allowing your player to walk. So let's get started. First of all right click on your script folder and create a new JavaScript. Rename this to FPS input con short for controller. Drag this on to your main player. Double click it and open it in model develop. Okay. First things first, leave some white space between update. Okay. Now, because this is a movement script, the first variable that pops into my head is move speed. So, public var move speed is going to be a type float. It's going to be equals to 50. The next one is going to be jump public var jump speed and I'm going to just type select the type floor as well and give it a value of 55 so in the basic script I'm going to be teaching you how to make your player move and jump and later on I'm going to be showing you how to add more stuff like sliding uh, power kicks and you know whatever the basic first persons have etc anyways let's move on we also need a variable that will define our players direction so public var move direction it's going to be equal to a vector free dot zero the reason it's zero because we want to define the directions ourselves the next one is gravity so public var gravity equal sorry it's a type float as well and it's equals 20 no 45 save that and the last one I need a public boolean and I'm gonna call it grounded public var grounded type boolean and it's going to be a default value of false now I'm going to explain what boolean does well we're going to be checking to see if our players in the air or on the ground and according to that we're going to allow the player to do certain stuff for example if we start a game and if you play it, you will notice that my player is in the air. But if we're in the air, we don't want our player to be able to move. But as soon as we hit the ground, we want to be able to move. So ground is basically going to be checking if we're crowded with something below, let us move. If we're in the air, don't let us move. So let's put this into action then. The first thing we want is an if statement so if grounded open close bracket open curly brace close curly brace and then we want to find the move direction for our player so move direction is going to be equal to a new vector free And the first vector free is going to ask for is our x, and that's going to come from our input dot horizontal. So input dot get axes open bracket horizontal close bracket comma. 
Now for you guys that don't know, horizontal is your A and D keys. So in the first person language, this would be allowing our player to move left and right according to the X uh, along the X axis. And as for the Y axis, we're going to be doing nothing because we're going to define jump later on. So Y is going to be zero comma input dot get axis. And this one's going to be vertical. This one's basically for our up and down. So it's going to be allowing us to move up and down. So we've got the new direction set up. So let's start applying this to the player itself. So move direction equals transform dot transform direction open bracket and it's an arcs for the uh, directions and we define that above so move direction and close bracket and close that line off save your script now that we've applied the movement to the game object we want to apply the directions with some speed else if we just press the ws a and D key, the player won't move, it's just going to stay in one position. So move direction times equals move speed. Okay, we've got the basic movement set up, allowing us to move up and down, left and right. Now let's start applying the jump. If open bracket. grounded open curly brace close curly brace and we're going to get our input so if input dot get key key code dot spacebar I'm just going to use my spacebar for my jump you can use whatever you like. And since it's the jump movement, we want it to move along the y axis. So move direction dot y is equals to our jump speed. So we've got a jump setup as well. 